Yeah, it, it's the way it disrupts the brain. It causes, they call it cognitive dissonance, okay? So they use this pattern of behaviour to reinforce. It's a form of control, okay? It's a form of control. They're nice, they're horrible. You react, then they blame you and tell everybody else you're crazy, okay? But at the end of all of this, because it's really, you know, you don't just get over it just like that, especially if it's been for a sustained period, because your brain forms this pattern, okay, so you will still wonder at times if they miss you, until you've worked through this, you know, this can leave people, this sort of energy can leave people with traumatic stress disorders, and it takes counselling and stuff like that, and especially, you know, if this is your reading and you're still sort of in this energy, um, you know, counsellors and people who specialise in narcissistic relationships and trauma bonds because it helps you make sense of of what's going on, okay? But because I really, I'm just saying all this because this, I really don't like this today. They know what they've done, okay? They know what they've done. Right. What's going on? What are their present feelings, please? What's this person's present feelings, please? They... Right, okay, they're doing exactly what they normally do. All right, they're sat in the two of wands in the present. The two of wands in a love relationship on a very general level, it's a general reading for a collective, is they're, they're looking elsewhere again. Okay, they're looking elsewhere again. Now, my thing is, are they looking to come back and hoover you up? But that tells me that although they have been quite comfortable where they are, the initial passion, excitement, fun, whatever they get their kicks doing, is wearing off. And they are now looking out at other things. Okay? They are repeating that pattern. I feel, because we're reading on this, that they are possibly looking at possibly trying to reconnect with you at some point. Okay, why? Why would they do this? What's going on in their environment? What's falling apart? Okay. They're fed up of where they are. It's repetitive. It's the same day. Sorry, different day, same stuff. That's what I'm trying to say. Different day, same stuff. Okay. It's boring. They're bored. They could be bored with their work. They're bored with their environment. They're just bored. Everything, every day looks the same. Okay. They're not getting a kick. This person likes to control. They like to be in control. They're, they're extremely stubborn as well. But they do like to be in control. They think they're right. They think they're top dog. That they're the best at everything. And they know best. Right, okay. What else is coming out in the present, please? Present, please. They're going to close the cycle out that they're in at the moment, okay? Fool. Yeah, very simple today. They're looking at making a decision. They're bored again, they're restless. Um, they've taken what they wanted from where they are now. They're going to complete that out. They don't want the responsibility of where they're at at the moment or what they're doing. They just fall. They just want to move on. They want to do something different. They're going to walk away from it, okay? Um, but somebody else is going to get the blame for that because they're just going to keep up their own appearances. They are extremely, extremely money orientated. You could have been the one that was earning the money and then when the money ran out or you said, hang on a minute, I'm the only one doing any work here, they weren't interested. They went to find a new supply, whether it's third party romance, it doesn't always have to be, you know, it could be um, just a different friend group, somebody else who would validate their emptiness. Because this person's empty, okay, but they are extremely materialistic very very materialistic keeping up appearances that sort of stuff so yeah in the present moment they are going to close out the cycle they're in but they're not going to give a damn about it 
okay? They're not going to give a damn about what they're doing. What are they going to do in the future? What's coming in, please, with this? Any information on whoever this reading is for today, please? Are they coming back into that person's life? Are they going to attempt to come back into that person's life? Yeah, eventually they will. They don't like to lose, okay? They don't like to lose. I think they've got a lot of internal conflict going on. I think they're just waiting. They're biting their tongue. They're biting their lip. Okay, I almost see them biting their lip off. All right. They could be competing now for your attention. You could have somebody else in your life. It doesn't have to be romance. You could have just made some new friends or you could have got a new hobby or started a new business. There's something that you're doing, okay? You're fighting for, for yourself, okay? Because you're sick and tired of sacrificing yourself. But this is solely them. Way down the line, they are still holding on to your value. And I, I'm trying to say this in, in, a, in a different way. This is somebody who... And not just you, it'll be anybody, 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 you know. They chose you because you had so much to offer, but they left you feeling that you were nothing. But they chose you because you had so much to offer. That's what attracted them, okay? You had what they hadn't got, okay? But then they systematically destroyed that. But... They are still holding on. They are looking. Okay, what's going to happen in the future is they are looking to see if you would possibly re-kickstart this. Okay, but I feel they're basing it on the amount of time, effort and investment and the rewards they could get from it. Okay, I think it's really clear today. I can't, I can't sugar-coated it's all to do with money all to do with possessions it's absolute control we've got the devil in the past of the ten of swords you know and i can see you know in their present what they're going to do you know whenever this happens it might be this year it could be next year but it will happen at some point okay and I feel they will try to sort of come back in eventually, but based on a oh I wonder what I could I wonder I wonder what I could get there. What rewards could I get? Okay. You know, it's the key to this is that they are, I would say, narcissistic and they're just empty. And they always go for people who shine a light, who are who have something to offer them okay have some they just have a massive massive agenda but you know if this is you carry on healing just carry on healing um and know that it wasn't you it wasn't you it really really wasn't you this person has no qualms about dissing any responsibilities, obligations they have. They live, they live totally for themselves and this person will disregard any emotional connection, any responsibilities. They don't care how long you've been together or what you could have achieved or what you've achieved. They will literally cut all of this but specifically for material needs, okay? Yeah, they are very narrow-minded, but they do like to keep up appearances. You know, this person could have a position of authority. They could have other people that believe that they're the nicest person on the planet behind closed doors. Or they could have a position where other people, you know, maybe they teach people or they do something like that. But they, they could be a group leader. But I don't think the people around them unless you're actually in an intimate or a close connection with this person, once you realise what they're really like. Okay? Yeah, they could have addictions as well. I'm going to take that. It's the unknown. 
top of the deck for me, some, you know, one of the unknowns, and with the devil and that, yeah, they could have had an addiction that, that you helped them hide for a while. And again, if you did, don't blame yourself because everyone just wants to help someone. We all want to believe that it's going to get better because that's how we function. Okay, so you will be okay. You will be okay. I'll just get an advice card for you. Just out of this deck. This is a beautiful, beautiful deck. Beautiful messages on it. Healer of abundance. This is a message for you. And it's got the word healer. Okay. Never doubt that you can make a difference. Your create creativity and ability to be innovative make you destined to succeed. It might be time to expand your career, but don't forget to leave time for family, okay? You have a massive gift and you are open-minded and nurturing. That message is to almost reinforce what I was saying. You would never have done enough for this person. Nobody will, nobody will. Eventually, they get older and they go through something which is like a narcissistic collapse, okay? But they've left a trail of destruction behind them. And it takes time for your brain to unlearn, unwire, because this, like, reinforcement behaviour, hot, cold, nice, not, controlling money, however they did it, however they did it in your environment, fires off all the neurons and then the brain comes to expect it. And that's why you still wonder what this person could be doing. Okay, it's normal. It's fine. But you're going to be absolutely fine. Okay. Nine of Cups. Coming into your life. Magical time when your wishes are granted and your dreams come true. Okay. Your angels are asking you to enjoy life and have more fun. But also go easy on yourself. Go easy on yourself. All right. If you... If you feel down or you have bad days, you might have a good week and then you have a bad week. It will it will get easier. I promise you, it will get easier. The, the rewiring of your brain, it'll start to happen. And you will <coughs> eventually almost look back, okay, and think, wow. But it will get better, okay. So do they miss you? Yeah, they do, but like they miss anybody that they want something from. So I'll leave that with you. Pretty detailed. Take what resonates. It is a very, very specific energy here and will not apply to everybody today. Okay? Love you very much. Bye.